Hey, we're back with some, uh, jumpstart second grade. Yeah. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just kind of bad at it. Other than that, uh, let's just get started with this game again. Uh, um. The elevator can take us on all kinds of adventures. Wait, 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 Thanks. I wanna... as part of our homework. Can you tell me the length of a football in inches? Thanks. Paul. You can... Dear Pen Pal, my name is Mohammed. I live in New Mexico. My younger brother is in a wheelchair. He has trouble walking. I'd like to help him. Can you tell me which sign is for the use of the disabled? It would really help me when I'm with my brother. Thanks, Mohammed. You can choose cool. the on this pen. Dear Pen Pal, Hi, my name is Malik. I am writing to you. Dear Pen Pal, my name is Janine. I am writing to you from Tennessee. I was just listening to the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. The song talked Dear Pen Pal, Hi, my name is Paul. I live in Missouri. We have been measuring all... Dear Pen Pal, my name is Mohammed. I live in New Mexico. You'll like that challenge. Yeah. On one of my many adventures here, I stumbled across a secret cave. It was just beyond the long glide of the subterranean river. If I remember correctly, there were a bunch of road signs that some dwellers must have left behind, but they never returned to claim them. I'll bet you can use them to solve your challenge. Lead the way. Just click the elevator when you're ready for an adventure. Here we go again. To work on your challenge, choose Bail. Log Ride in the elevator menu. Charlie, where are you going? Charlie. You'll need to get to the secret cave to solve your challenge. I'm in the church. The way. Only trouble is, they're all over on the other side. Thank you. This is an old subterranean river. We can explore through these tunnels, but we'll need the gophers to guide us. Help the gophers leap from log to log across the river, and they'll help show us the way. There'll be an equation or spelling word. Oh god, now the river's riddled with all kinds of crocodiles. I'll be 11. As you can see, the music has changed as well. Try to still rambling about his birthday party. The difficulty has gotten really high lately. I guess it's too late to sing the Grande song, is it? Yeah, mommy can dance. Let me see. Mommy's like, stand 
spell S E S K. Can you not do that in front of the computer, please? Oh! What computer? I'm recording here. What or how is the service? Doing good. Hmm. Oh, I was so close. Too bad I can't jump to the left or right. That would be helpful. Oh no, it happened again. Stupid controls. I guess I'm gonna start lo losing more points if I keep messing up like that. Oh no! I did not see that coming. This better not waste my time. All right. One more. Please tell me this is the last. Please close your mouth. Please close your mouth. No! <laughs> oh, goodness. Who would have thought a game for kids would be just as tricky for a guy who's my age? I mean, like, I'm 22. You know? He's gonna open his mouth. Are you kidding me? The next one's gonna open it. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't know how I did that. But that was beautiful. Let's head down to this cave and see what we find. To solve your challenge, click on the sign your pen pal wanted you to find. Maybe you'd like to hear your challenge again. Click on the letter, the handicap sign. You'll see this sign posted near an area or entrance that handicapped people may easily use. Did you see that? The question mark disappeared. I think you solved the challenge. Click on the letter icon to get back to the mailroom. Mr. Brewster will help you send a reply to your pen pal. Oh, you solved the challenge. Looks like you don't have any stamps. You'll have to play some games and activities to win some. Hey, are you ready for an adventure? <sighs> and so comes the task of getting some, of winning some activities. There is chance playing and games. with each of these perilous locations. Oh, bravo. Football Who's up for some Monday night fo football? There's a game on, Edison. Oh, the horror. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks like you 
looks like the Jumpstart football team is getting ready to play its cross-town rival. So, are you ready then? Well, let's get this show on the road. All right, nine. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I forgot how to do this. The ball is on the 19 yard line. Something tells me they did model this after a real football game. That's right. Do penalties work like that in real football games? You got it. Ooh, tackle. It's going to be a huge rush here. Stay 
this time, but what do you think will happen to the green number? It has to move to the hundreds column. <laughs> Yeah. Jump start. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's getting away from... Uh-oh. Boo. Oh. We're tied. Play ball. Is it halftime yet? I don't think that's how penalties work. Honestly. Uh let's see. It's that's right. Three. That's right. Uh oh. The ball is snapped. The ball is handed off. Rush to the thirty-eight yard line. Oh, looks like we're going to struggle this time around. Oh. The ball is on the 39 yard line. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Oh, we're going to jump ahead. Yay. <laughs> so, 
99 again. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Looks like the answer is too big. The red number can stay, but the blue one belongs in the tens column. Let's move it to the other side. That's called carrying over. The blue number can stay this time, but what do you think will happen to the green number? It has to go to the hundreds column. Yeah. Oh no. But kick is no good. And the score is jump start. Fifteen. Visitors seven. Uh oh. Oh no. Are you serious? It's happening again. Boo. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. More of this game after this.